Sun Home is actually a quarter mile east of I-10. Okay. You can't miss it. Just look for the crowbar and the graph gun. And Break now, dancers. at number three, this one was a sequence of photos. This okay. is a professor's crazy wild night. Look at that. He's got a pot on his head. He's getting drunk. That guy's crazy. Yeah, he's on a table. Then there's more. There's more. There, oh, yeah, there we go. He's threatening to shank somebody with a shard of said bottle. That's great, too. Moving on. We've got, uh, <laughs> this Drunken guy went all night, out, the cooking series. a pigeon, which I've done once or twice after too many Red Bulls and vodkas. You know, you throw them on the stove. Well, you get hungry. Y you got to eat. And it's what's there. It's cheap. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's Atkins friendly. Mm -hmm. And finally, there's one more. That's the end of the night there, of course, as you can see. Creative use of the, uh, the uh, alien blood pistol. Drunken nights don't end well, even in mods, do they? I like they? that. No, they don't. Mm -mm. It's, not, it's not pretty. And number Sad two, this one I thought was super creative. I really enjoyed this one. And I don't often say super creative. There okay. it is, The Sims. He did the whole hey, like three-quarter kind of isometric view. There's I someone love it. entering the door. Very cool there. And finally, number one, number I was waiting one. for it. It's the last sumper, complete with the, uh, the the female from the Da Vinci Code right there. Well, you know, and as you were going through these, I was hoping that this would be number one, or I wouldn't have felt complete myself. Right. Well, so now we've done you a service. I'm actually pretty and impressed. Community. They did a good job. Yeah. They, they really pulled out those stops. Granted, like I think 98.7 percent of them were uh, you know bondage or porn related. However. The creative ones. For those that weren't, made it we onto applaud the you. Yes, thank you for, for coming up with something other than the norm. All right. Again, yes, thanks to everybody who submitted. The top five winners can expect a nice little prize. What did they get? Uh, maybe EverQuest 2. Maybe Dirty Laundry. We'll figure it out. Make sure you go to the screensavers.com to vote for your favorites. <laughs> okay, later on, we're going to be taking one of your live calls with Boing Boing editor and Wired magazine contributor, Shenny Jardin. Yes, and when we come back... Chain blades, 100 hit combos, buckets of blood, and, and Greek mythology. Yeah, we'll let you know if God of War is a try it or buy it. Make sure you stick around. All right, guys, fire up your gaming rigs and get your game on because we are playing the Desert Combat Mod for Battlefield 1942 in this week's Screensavers Land Party powered by NVIDIA. The Desert Combat Mod takes the classic action of Battlefield and puts it in modern-day Middle East. To register, all you have to do is go to our website and click on Join Our Land Party. You'll find everything you need to join us on the Battlefield for tomorrow's show. And now, here's Kevin with his review of the new game, God of War. Kevin? Yes, thank you very much, Chilan. All right, now, this is a little thing I call the first 50. It's where I give you my initial impressions of a game based off the first 50 minutes of play. Because, again... That's all you really need. And last night, I spent some quality time with the beta build of Sony Santa Monica's latest PlayStation 2 title. It's a little bit platformer, a little bit puzzler, and a whole lot of action. It's called God of War. Now, you'll slip into the sandals of Kratos, a possessed warrior who decides to go cliff diving sans parachute. Now, why, you might ask? Why does our hero punch his own ticket? Well, that's what you get to figure out, my friends, because the game actually starts three weeks prior to the big leap of faith. There he goes. Woohoo! Yeah! Check the backpack. There is none. Now, first of all, the game looks amazing. As in, like, is this really running fluidly on a PlayStation 2? Amazing. That kind of amazing. And just take a look at it. It is phenomenal. It's got great camera, ultra responsive controls, and it's all about multiple combos. So as you're playing here, you can really decide what you want to do. Do I want to hold down triangle, whip a guy up into the air? Do I want to hit circle and tear him in half? There's boss battles that happen all the time. It's not just a big end-level fight. They occur mid-level several times. And what's really great about it is the fluidity of said combat. You can decide in mid-air that you want to grab a guy. You can decide when you're on the ground that, oh, I don't want to grab him. I want to pummel him to death and then throw him over a cliff. Whatever you want to do, the game does it. And it does it quickly. And it does it fast. And it looks damn good while it's doing it. Now, there's also some very Shenmue-esque kind of quick-time action sequences. If you ever played it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, in the middle of fights, certain bosses can be grabbed onto. So here it's telling you, press triangle. Guess what I hit there? Yeah, that'd be the triangle. Leaping onto his head and jamming the sword into his eye. That's going to upset him. He's going to need some Blasics. And it's really, really fun. Also, other things here, like jamming the circle button, propping his mouth open. Very cool. And notice, again, how fast all the action is. The camera moves. Your character moves really really fun like it has a prince of persia kind of blocking thing where you just hold down block and it will kind of slow down time when an enemy hits you it's a very cool effect there's upgradable weapons it's got a magic system with multiple spells amazing it's really good now the question though at the end of the day is will this game offer enough variety to keep players interested and well sadly i can't tell you not at this point you see the demo only lasted about 25 minutes which means i had to play it twice in order to 
through the first 50. However, I will say that those few minutes were filled with enough over-the-top torso-tearing antics to warrant a solid try it from me. So check out God of War and March. And maybe we can get more on the show later on because it is really, really fun. Coming up after the break, we'll take a live call with Shenny Jardin from boingboing.net. And the whole reason we're waiting for this to happen to the world is so that the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy can begin. We'll have more about that right after these messages. Be sure to catch tomorrow's show, Real Live Playboy Bunnies. Yes, you heard me right. They're going to be playing in our LAN party tomorrow. We're playing Battlefield 1942 Desert Combat with Playboy Bunnies. Did I mention that? Plus, he's the creator of one of our favorite comics. Johnny Ryan will be here with some irresistible eye candy. And one convention to bring them all. We'll take a trip to the One Ring Lord of the Rings celebration. And in the darkness, find them. I cast Magic Missile. It's all in tomorrow's show. <laughs> now, don't panic. Rarely are we so excited about an upcoming movie that we'll want to talk about it several months even before it comes out. Maybe Star Wars, a few others, yeah? Well, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is definitely one of the few others. We actually have a new poster for the movie released just yesterday. The late Douglas Adams created The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy way back in the 70s. It became an absolute instant classic. Everybody has read one, if not more of the series. There have been books, radio shows, television series, even a computer game, and now finally it, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie, which Douglas Adams did help write the screenplay for. Here's a recently released trailer for the upcoming movie. I see skies of blue and clouds of white The bright blessed day The dark sacred night and I think to myself, what a wonderful... So as you can see, the movie begins with the end of the world. The Earth is demolished to make way for a hyperspace bypass. An Earthling, Arthur Dent, who's played by Martin Freeman, saves himself by hitching a ride on a passing spacecraft and learning everything he needs to know in a little book called none other than The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Other stars of the movie will include Mostef, who's playing the role of Ford Prefect, Sam Rockwell as Zophed Beeblebrox, Zoe Deschanel as Trillian, Bill Nye, not the science guy, a different Bill Nye, as Slarty Bartfast, and Warwick Davis as Marvin the Paranoid Android. Gosh, those actors' names are almost as strange as the characters. The online movie companion is much better than your average Hollywood website. We really recommend you go. It includes all kinds of cool news and developments on the movie as it nears its May 6th release date. You still got a ways to go, but you can see more at hitchhikersmovie.com. Now here's Kevin with today's live call.